Hey everybody, so as promised, we have a series of self-assessment videos. This is gonna help you understand the health of your musculoskeletal system, neck, shoulders, hips, spine, what things you should be aware of, um, and what things, if you do find in yourself, you may wanna get professional help with. So the first thing we're checking is the neck or the cervical spine. Now, you know, uh, I talked about in previous videos on how I have a new vehicle, and even though it's a new vehicle, it doesn't have blind spot monitoring. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy about that, guess what? <laughs> Can you guess what? No blind spot monitoring. You gotta do it yourself. I gotta do it myself, which means I have to turn my head all the way to the right and all the way to the left to check my vehicle's blind spots. Most cars though do have the blind spot monitoring. Mm -hmm. So what does that happen? What, what that means is you'll stay mostly looking forward when you're driving. And the way we keep our joints healthy is by moving them through their range of motion every day. So for the neck, that would be looking all the way up, looking all the way down, turning all the way to the left, all the way to the right, which Dr. Carla has perfect range of motion. <laughs> and also not to forget, and this is usually the first one that people lose, side bending. So ear to shoulder and ear to shoulder. So you can check yourself or you can have a partner video yourself. So if you notice when you, for instance, turn to the right, that you stop and you can sort of assess by where does your nose end up? If your nose doesn't get close to your shoulder, you've got a limitation in rotation. If the ear, if you get to there and then you're trying to hike your shoulder up to do the movement, that's cheating. You don't have <laughs> lateral flexion. You might notice when you get to the end of that range of motion, you might have a little pinching or a little discomfort. That's a sign that your joints are irritated. Loss of range of motion is a sign that you do have a neck problem. Now you could wait for it to get worse, but when you assess yourself, um, if you find these things, that's a sign that you would want to get checked by a professional, ideally a chiropractor, to as much as possible restore your ranges of motion. Because if we keep our ranges of motion good, our spine stays healthy, less pain, less problems with discs and joints, less things like pain going down in the arms, carpal tunnel, mm -hmm. possibly headaches. And these ranges of motion, typically when people lose them, it happens really slowly. It happens over decades. Mm -hmm. You don't really know what's happening. Right. So, this will help you stay on top of your neck health. So the other thing we're looking at when we're checking the health of the neck is for abnormal postures. In this case, from the side, forward head posture. So you can have a partner take a picture of yourself um, from the side and here's what you're gonna look for. So you look at your ear in relation to the shoulder. So you can see with Dr. Carla, if we draw a line straight down from her ear to the shoulder, they're pretty close together. If in your picture, Dr. Carlos demonstrating the ear is very like one inch, two inch forward from the shoulder. That's a sign that you have forward head posture. Forward head posture we know can put more pressure on the discs of the spine, leading them to degenerate. Forward head posture might also be coming from abnormal forward curves in the upper back, which we'll talk about in a subsequent video. But if you do have forward head posture, not only is it not pretty to look at, you should probably already know if you've seen a picture of yourself from the side, <laughs> But it is something that, again, you may want to get help with to maintain the health and well-being of your neck. Okay, so now you know how to assess your neck. In the next episode, we're going to look at the upper back, the thoracic spine, which is a really important area, especially as we get older, to keep healthy so we can stay mobile and feeling well. So make sure to like, subscribe, definitely comment if you want to see something in a future video, and we'll see you on the next one.